Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've not already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be talking all about everyday perfumes for women. And what I mean by that are these are the types of perfumes that you will reach for on an everyday basis whether it's going to work, you might be running errands, it could be even wearing it to the gym, but they are those easy reach fragrances that are inoffensive, they're still very nice, very wearable, but they're not necessarily the loudest fragrance in the room, or maybe they're not necessarily the most complex, but they're really lovely everyday reaches. So I hope that makes sense. Without further ado, let's get started on the list. So the first fragrance that I want to recommend for everyday wear is by Cana Barcelona and it is Tardes. And I feel like this is one of the most perfect everyday easy reach fragrances. Let me give you a close up of the bottle. And the reason why I feel like Tardes would make a really great everyday fragrance is it smells beautiful. It's not necessarily the most complex very likable, you will smell effortless, you will smell clean, it's going to be very inoffensive, so very appropriate for work settings, maybe if you're in an office, you could even wear this to the gym, but it's beautiful enough to leave you smelling good and leave people intrigued by what you are wearing. So Tardes is kind of a woody, almond, musky, slightly floral fragrance. It's quite hard to describe to be honest with you. You've got a note of rosewood in here and I feel like rosewood is such a comforting woody note. You've definitely got lots of almond in the top and we're not talking about a marzipan type of almond note, we're talking about more of a freshly cut almond or freshly peeled almond, almost like a white almond. It's not roasted, it's not too dark. You've got heliotrope and musk in the base which is giving that clean and musky vibe. There's rose, there's geranium, there's actually a plum note in here too, which is gorgeous. It does also have a note of celery. Now don't let that celery note put you off. A little bit strange when I first read that. It does add a slight bitterness to this fragrance and so does the almond actually. It makes it for a very unique composition, but all in all, this is a clean, fresh, musky fragrance. It would suit that clean girl aesthetic. But then you've obviously got the geranium, you've got the rose, you've got the plum note. Definitely try and get a sample of this one if you haven't tried it before. But I do think this would make a perfect everyday fragrance, which is why it's in this list, of course. So highly recommend Tardes by Carna Barcelona. The next fragrance that I want to recommend is Elixir by Roger. First, let me give you a close up of the bottle and then I'll explain myself. So this is from the Essence Collection. So... You're probably thinking, Hayley, you're recommending a Roger fragrance as an everyday fragrance. And you probably already know this, but Roger fragrances are pretty pricey. So this elixir is from the Essence Collection. So it's not as potent as their EDPs or some of their other fragrances. And also the Essence Collection is a little bit more affordable. I believe, please don't hold me to this, I believe this is 245 pounds for 100 mil which for a Roger fragrance is a pretty good price. Please take that with a pinch of salt when I say pretty good price. But Elixir by Roger is the most beautiful, beautiful everyday fragrance. This is so feminine. It's floral, it's a little bit fruity, it's girly. And fun fact, my friend actually stole this one from me for her wedding day. Not only did it look gorgeous in photos, but it is a really great bridal scent too, especially when you want something very easy going and not too in your face. So what does Alexa smell like? Alexa is definitely a fruity floral with vanilla and with musks, but lots of fruits in here and lots of florals. You're getting that Roger touch, but it's not too in your face Roger. It's a very likable, easy going fragrance. As I mentioned, I feel like so many people would like this. It's not incredibly complex. It's just really, really beautiful. I definitely get a strong peach note in here. And as with all Roger fragrances, they have a lot of notes. I'm gonna read a snippet of some of them from the website just to give you a bit of a feeling and then I'll describe the fragrance a little bit more. Let me just grab my phone. So you've got bergamot, raspberry, and rose. I get all of those. You've got peach, violet, heliotrope, ylang-ylang, geranium, 
musk, vanilla, cashmere wood, ambrette, and sandalwood. And orris. There's a few more notes. You definitely get the raspberry. It's very, very, very juicy. I get that peach, as I mentioned. I get the cashmere in. I get the vanilla. I just think it's a very, very lovely fragrance. This would be date night appropriate too. If you want to feel really feminine, I feel like you should try out Elixir if you have the chance to. It would definitely be a little bit of a treat for your collection when you're wearing a pricier fragrance as an everyday wear. I mean, we do it. Some of us love other fragrances, you know, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. People wear that on an everyday basis. And like I said, the Essence collection is a little bit more affordable. It feels very luxurious from the packaging to the smell, but not overly complex, just a really great everyday fragrance. And if you love your girly fragrances, then I'd highly recommend checking out this one. The next fragrance is by Room 1015 and it is Sonic Flower. And I recently mentioned this one in another video, very new to my collection. It's a new launch from Room 1015, but I feel like it's so appropriate for an everyday perfume. And I'll explain why. I'll give you a close up of the bottle first. Now this is a very unique offering from Room 1015. It's very different from any of the other fragrances within their collection. And this is just perfect for the list. Let me have a little smell again. Getting lots of iris and lots of orris root. And I absolutely adore iris and orris root. Especially as my tastes evolve, I feel like I'm more and more drawn to this type of scent profile. It's so elegant, so effortless, very chic and understated. And it's exactly why this is a perfect everyday fragrance. You've got pink pepper and carrot seeds in the opening. I don't get too much pink pepper. You get a little bit, but it's not overpowering at all. Definitely get the carrot seeds. It adds a creamy earthiness. Obviously the orris root also adds a creamy earthiness. Absolutely beautiful note. You've also got jasmine, you've got ambroxin, I think you've got cashmere and, and musk. I don't believe there's an iris note listed, but I definitely pick out iris within this composition. This is not a heavy and in your face type of scent. It's not overly floral, it's not overly musky. I feel like it's just the perfect balance. So if you like more of an iris or oris based fragrance without all of those fruity notes that you sometimes get, then I'd highly recommend checking out Sonic Flower. Like I said, it would suit the clean girl aesthetic. It would suit the everyday fragrance kind of wear. It's elegant, it's chic. And when I was looking on their website the other day, you can actually get 10 mil atomizers, which I don't think they used to do. So you can buy this in 50 mil or 100 mil and now also in the 10 mil. So if you're a bit worried about blind buying the larger size, then you could absolutely buy the 10 mil. And whilst you're there, maybe check out Cherry Punk because another top fragrance from room 1015. The next fragrance is by Parfum Stamali and it is Oriana. This is definitely an everyday scent for me. Let me give you a close up of the bottle. I can never get over the Parfums de Mali bottles. I think they are so, so cute. And I love that they all come in different colors. And the corresponding color for Oriana, of course, is this beautiful, bright fuchsia pink. Now, Oriana was a very hyped up release when it came out. And it's because it has those notes that leave people craving more. People go mad for orange blossom. I'm one of those people to be fair, so I completely understand. But it also listed Chantilly cream. It also listed marshmallows. And, you know, marshmallows, when that's listed in a scent, I feel like also we go mad for that note. But there is a little bit more going on in this fragrance. You've definitely got some citruses up top. You've got a little bit of musk in here too. I think there's some fruity notes in here too, like raspberry and blackcurrant. Let me just get the notes up because it would probably be easier if I read them out. So we've got mandarin, orange, bergamot and grapefruit. I don't massively get those notes. Middle notes, orange blossom, raspberry and blackcurrant. Base notes, whipped cream. I believe they say Chantilly cream on the website. Marshmallow, musk, and ambrette. Okay, I mostly get the middle and the base notes. I'm not really getting the orange bergamot and grapefruit. Let me just quickly... Not really. That orange blossom note is really strong. But actually... Yeah, I, maybe I am getting the mandarin a little bit because it kind of smells like an orange slash orange blossom, Turkish delight, slash marshmallow vibe. 
very creamy, very lactonic. Absolutely beautiful. The reason why I think this would be a perfect everyday scent is it's that scent profile that's extremely likable. It's gonna absolutely get you the compliments. You're probably gonna love smelling it on yourself. However, you absolutely need to enjoy your sweet fragrances because Oriana is very girly sweet, I will say that. But if you love fragrances like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, if you love Memo's Sintra, Paul Moi Guanamav Dinol, then you might absolutely love Oriana if you haven't already sampled it. But this is a perfect effortless everyday fragrance. And I know it should probably be more of a special occasion fragrance just because of the whole vibe this gives and the price point. But for me, this is more of an everyday reach personally. I probably wouldn't wear this on a special occasion. I would reach for it more on a day-to-day -day basis. Next, we have Anishio's Musk Therapy. And I've had this fragrance in a few different video lists. I'll give you a quick close up of the bottle. The Initio bottles pretty much always look the same. They just have different colored bottles and sometimes different color metal. So the new Paragon came with a more rose gold copper plaque and Rehab has a silver plaque and Musk Therapy is gold. So I've had this in my Clean Girl Aesthetic video. I've had this in, I think my Signature Sense video. It was in my Wedding Recommendations video. I truly feel like Musk Therapy is just such a versatile scent. It's just really gonna be dependent on what type of person you are and the type of fragrances you like wearing. But Musk Therapy is just such an easy reach for me. It's absolutely an everyday fragrance for me. I would wear this to the office. I would wear it running errands. I would wear it out for dinner. I would wear it on so many different occasions and it's why I feel like it's perfect for this list. But anyway, what does it smell like? So you've definitely got blackcurrant in the opening and lots of musk. I kind of get a clean laundry vibe from it too. I believe there's a little bit of mandarin in here. You've got some white florals. I can't really decipher the white florals and then a teeny bit of sandalwood, but it's not that woody at all. And I've been reaching for musk therapy quite a lot. My partner wore this one the other day and he smelled incredible, just very much like fresh laundry to me. It was a little bit musky, a little bit clean. And I got a teeny bit of that black currant vibe going on. Yeah, absolutely a perfect everyday scent. Highly recommend sampling it if you haven't already. Next, we have one of the newer releases, if not the newest release from Miller Harris. And this one is called Mirica Muse. And as soon as I saw the notes online, I knew I had to have this one. And it's in this really pretty matte packaging with the gold detailing. And I saw the notes of strawberry, Bayberry, and I think it was rum. And I was like, I need to smell this fragrance. And I straight away ordered a two mil sample direct from Miller Harris alongside some other samples, smelt it. And I was like, yeah, I need that one. And I do feel like this could suit other occasions too, but for me, this is more of an everyday fragrance, but it's very transitional. So you could wear this for the day and then out to dinner. There's so many different ways you could wear it depending on the types of scents you like, and it would make a great layering one too. But you get a juicy note of strawberry in the opening, and it's not a synthetic strawberry at all. It's really beautifully done. And then you've got this gorgeous Bayberry note I'm getting the rum, but it also can be perceived a little bit like uh, maybe champagne, something a little bit fizzy. So I imagine this being more of a champagne cocktail. I'm also getting rose and patchouli, a little bit of benzoin, musk vanilla, teeny bit of citrus, but the strawberry and bayberry is very prominent. The rose is definitely coming through and that's why I think it smells a little bit like a champagne cocktail very small amount of patchouli, lots of vanilla. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't really see many people talking about Mira Camus and it's one that I think is so well done from Miller Harris. Of course, the very famous Miller Harris Scherzo gets a lot of love on here. If you like Scherzo and you wanna branch out a little bit into some different offerings from Miller Harris, try Mira Camus next. Either get a sample online or try and smell it in a retailer. I think it's just such a beautiful composition that deserves more love and it would be an everyday fragrance for me. 
And last, but by no means least, we have Gold Personal from Commodity. And the Personal range is definitely my favorite aesthetically. I love the white cap and the white labels. I think it just suits that clean girl aesthetic really well. Let me give you a close up of the bottle. It even looks like an everyday fragrance to me. And the reason why I love Gold Personal so much is this is the most soft, transparent, easygoing vanilla in my collection. It has other things going on in here too. It has sandalwood. It has that kind of ambroxin, iso, super E vibe going for it too. I'm not sure if that's actually the notes in the fragrance, but what I mostly get from it is a very, very soft, almost translucent vanilla. I think that's nutmeg. I get iso super E, slightly ambroxin. It's very much an everyday fragrance. It's very much suited for someone who doesn't necessarily like strong perfumes. They like something a little bit more subtle, almost fresh and easy wearing. This would be a great work from home fragrance, a great work office fragrance, and definitely a good gym fragrance too. I'm gonna to read you the notes because I probably didn't describe that too well. So let me just grab my phone. Okay, so you've got vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. You've got Iso Super E, I thought I could smell that. Nutmeg, saffron, and patchouli. Definitely don't get the patchouli and barely get the saffron, to be quite honest with you. Maybe the saffron's giving it a little bit of depth in the base. You'll definitely get in the vanilla, but it's a very, very soft vanilla. And I have to state that just in case you're expecting to get quite a powerhouse of vanilla if you do order this one. It's more of an Iso Super E fragrance with a hint of vanilla, with a little bit of amber bit musky. If you like those kind of eccentric molecules fragrances or Juliet has a gun, that kind of vibe, then you would probably really like this one. I think it's extremely effortless and this is definitely the type of fragrance that I would wear to the gym if I was a gym goer and I would wear it to like a big work conference etc. And now um, Commodity is stocked at Sephora in the UK. I went in their newest store so if you don't already know, if you're not from the UK, we haven't had Sephora here for many, many, many years. And finally, Sephora launched, I think it was this year in the UK, if not late last year, and now we have a store in London. So I went in there, of course went to the fragrance section and they had Commodity there. So that was really nice to see because Commodity is such a great brand and I feel like more people need to explore the collection. This was the last fragrance that I wanted to discuss today. So that is Gold Personal by Commodity. I hope you enjoyed my list. I wanted to do something a little bit different and I always wanna to try to include fragrances that I don't necessarily talk about as much on my channel to give you variety. Was there anything that you saw in my list that has intrigued you or maybe that you like, please do let me know down in the comments. But what I really want to know, and it's the same thing I always want to know, are your recommendations. Please let me know what your everyday perfume recommendations are, because I will always go out of my way to research them, often get samples or blind purchase them. I know I shouldn't, but please do keep them coming because you will have such great taste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you in a video to come. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.